On the western edge of India, the little run of Kutch may seem hostile at first. The earth is parched and cracked. Here, nothing moves. Or so it seems, until you take a closer look. The seeming nothingness is actually buzzing with life. A home to many creatures, big and small. The little run of Kutch is the dried out ocean floor of the Gulf of Kutch. Every monsoon, the desert floods, creating islands or baits in Gujarati. Despite their brief appearance, these islands welcome numerous creatures. Flamingos come here in large numbers to breed. On some years, more than 4 lakh flamingos travel to these wetlands. The Indian wild ass that once roamed across parts of Western Asia are now found only in the saline desert. Around 5,000 of them are set to live in the wild ass sanctuary especially made for their protection. The short-eared owl sits motionless, hiding in plain sight. Its mottled brown feathers blend in the grasses. They are one of the few species of owls that migrate to warmer places in winter. Open marshland and plenty of rodents to feed on make the run their favourite destination. Another impressive hunter keeps a tight vigil. Peregrine falcon is the fastest diving bird, striking its prey mid-air. The sparse saline mudflats of the run are thriving hunting grounds for migratory and resident raptors. Another habitat in Gujarat calling out to the raptors are the grasslands of Velavadar. The Black Buck National Park is the world's largest roosting site for harriers. Every winter, large numbers leave their homes in Eastern Europe and Central Asia to migrate here. Witness to their annual visits are the most popular residents of the park, the black bucks. Large black buck herds are usually rare, but here you'll find over groups of 100. They leap through the arid grasslands, keeping a watchful eye on the park's top predators the Indian wolf and the striped hyena. Dry and sparse ecosystems like the little run of Kutch and the grasslands of Vilavadar are among the most neglected in India. Often mistaken as wastelands, we are rapidly losing them to expanding agriculture and infrastructure development. Thus, threatening the lives that depend on them.